We are back with one of what I would call probably our most popular segment on this channel, which I love doing personally. It is our Ipsy versus Ipsy. This is the plus edition. If you guys haven't seen this before, welcome. Uh, basically what I do is I have an Ipsy subscription and my mother has an Ipsy subscription. We both get the plus and the regular bag. So each month I compare our two pluses. I compare our two regular bags. I see which one I like better as a collective. And then I pick out my ideal five based on the 10 items that we received for this month. Ipsy has been so hit or miss this year that I don't really know how to feel. I don't check spoilers. I'm very good about wanting to be surprised. So um, normally I can kind of like hold back. I get the emails and I'm just like, no, resist. So I don't know what I'm gonna get. Uh, I know last month, I think I was pretty disappointed with the bag, but I might've liked the box. I don't even know. It's just been such an up and down year for Ipsy. So let's see what we got without any, uh, any further ado. I always start with my mom's box just because I, I like to save mine for last. I don't know, it's like a weird personality thing. I don't know. All right, I don't remember what the theme was, but it was, it was take a break and it actually, nope, they did not give us, so they've taken away our product cards that have the price breakdown and that makes me really sad. I genuinely miss that. I guess it's probably somewhere online, but it's just, Meh. So take a break. That is our uh, our um, our theme, and basically they're they're saying you know self care for 2020, self care. And I like the bag. The bag's cute. It's it's very very like 80s vibes, like the like an 80s like with the neon colors. It's like a like a logo for a TV show, like a Miami Vice type feel. <laughs> Then the little, I don't know if you guys can see, you should be able to see, cause you're, you have, yes, you should be able to see it. It's a little airplane, so cute, precious. Um, and it's kind of like this material that feels like it can get wet without, um, like it could be a pool bag if you put like a couple things in it to go to the pool. So that's kind of nice too, very summery. I don't know why I did that, it's awful. I'm so sorry. So this is my mom's box. I will think in terms of what she normally likes as well, and I'll kind of explain that. The first one, the brand is personally one of my favorites, Ciate London. We get a lot of stuff from them in uh, Ipsy's, and I'm personally always happy with it because I, I really genuinely like Ciate as a brand. Um, this is the watermelon, watermelon, can't speak, the watermelon burst hydrating primer. Oh my gosh, it's huge. It's a great size. It's got like these cute little, like, I don't even like micro balls in there. Maybe they burst, I don't know. My mom is not really like, oh, it's a pump. But you can kind of smell like faint watermelon. I personally am not a fan of the, the smell of synthetic watermelon. So if it's too pungent, it may be like, ugh, for me. But I like the idea of it being a hydrating primer. I always use those during the summer because I just, it feels nice on my skin. Like it's, you know, I'm normally sunburned. So it just is like a nice little refresher. Yeah, my mom is just not really, a, I just don't think of her as using these types of primers. So I don't know how she's gonna feel about this, but personally it's a good product in my opinion. Moving on. So the next thing we have is Pure Lee's The Matcha Green Tea Antioxidant Priming Moisturizer, which is interesting. I'm curious as to if this is also a primer or if this is a moisturizer that you would also use in uh, in addition to a, a primer. Sorry, I'm reading. I just, it takes a lot. It is a primer. Okay, weird. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this. I love, I personally love getting primers. I do. I genuinely enjoy them, but two, I don't think we've ever gotten two in a box. And that's just odd to me. So this is, this is, a, it is, they are saying you, you put it on your clean skin, it moisturizes and it primes your skin for makeup. So it's, it's primer, it's a full primer. So I, good product, two good products separately. Weird that we're getting it in the same box. That's, I, I, I personally want variation and that's, um, okay, moving on. Next we have the Tarte C Surfer Curl Volumizing Mascara. One of my biggest complaints is they send us certain items repeatedly, no matter what, mascaras are one of them. <laughs> And it's very basic. I love Tarte as a brand. I really do. It's very hard to complain. I I took advantage, full advantage of their um, their build your own bundle for sixty three dollars set. Uh, I bought two of them. But I just I'm just tired of mascaras in these boxes. So that's kind of like a it's kind of like a meh one for me. Like I don't hate it, but I I definitely am not excited to receive it. The next thing we have is an Awake Glow Pill Serum. That is what it looks like. It's interesting. I don't know what this one does either. It, uh, let's, let us see. What I am, skin hydrating vitamins in a serum. The Awake Effect, skin appears more balanced, hydrated, and smooth. Why I'm special, pH 5.3, a super blend of vitamin B3 and B5 and antioxidant benefits, use me AM and PM. So it's just like a nice little skincare serum. Once again, something that I would be happy with, but now we're looking at 
three, three, I, I did two at first, but it was three. Then shalt thou count to three. No more, no less. Basically moisturizer, skin serums. I mean, primers are different. I, I personally like them because it is that kind of cross between the, the skincare and the, in the makeup world, but I just, it's a lot. It's, I just don't feel like there's a lot of variation with what we're getting in this box. The last, oh my God. God, this one is heavy. So the last thing is the one that she chose. I know she chose it. I don't know how to open this. It's like, a, okay, first of all, precious, just before I take it out of the packaging, because I do want to take it out of the packaging. I don't know, this isn't mine. Maybe I'll leave it in the packaging. This is what she chose. It is in the shade color box. It is from IL Makage, I think. I, I may be saying that wrong, but it's M-A-K-I-A-G-E. I have seen a ton of online targeted ads at me on my Facebook, on my Instagram, all of those about their foundation and I've been so tempted to buy it because everybody's like, it's like the game changing foundations. These were some of the choices. They are single eyeshadows. They're good size, nice big sizes. And I know my mom chose it. I know I chose one too. I do remember what I chose this month. Going through what we've received, what she's received so far, it's very much the complaint I've had with them throughout the whole year. We had two primers. We got a serum, a moisturizing serum. We got a black mascara and then we got a single eyeshadow. It's not that it's not good stuff. It's not that it doesn't, I think it, I think it is worth $25, but it's not $25 that I would, I would not have spent my $25 on this, if that makes sense. I want like the new exciting stuff. And I know some people don't like to hear that, but I just, I think they're missing the mark consistently. And it's enough to, to kind of make you go like, is it still worth it to be in this program? So I, that's how I'm feeling right now. That's how, these are my thoughts midway through. Let's see what I got in my box. Cause I'm curious now to see how many, I, I feel like also with the pluses, we get a lot of duplicate items, um, like just because they don't have as many variations. So let's see. So uh, yeah, so put mama's over there. We're going into mine now. Well, this is gonna be a short video. Uh, it's the exact same, y'all. The exact same. There is zero variation. There is, I, I got the Ciate London. I got the Pure Lee's Matcha Tea. I got the Awake Glow Pill. I got the Tarte. I got, I got it, it's all the same. Even I even chose the same color in this, which I'll open up so you guys can see, but it's, I mean, whoo, there's so much to unpack here. Okay, okay. There's a lot to unpack with this and I will get to that. But I did want to, since this is my eyeshadow instead of my mom's, I did want to go ahead and show you guys what the actual thing looks like. First of all, packaging, cool as crap. I cut it, that's how you open it. That is that is wild, that's awesome, I love that. I'm gonna save the box, I don't normally save the box, but. And then you open it up, it's a really, like I said, it's really heavy, really nice, big, sturdy. And it's a great size, really pretty color, very neutral, very very much something that you could wear on the day-to-day -day basis. Um, I'm gonna swatch it just because why not? Oh yeah, really pretty. I hope you guys can see it. It is very gentle, very soft, but still there. Like I said, definitely something you could use for daily use. That's why my mom and I chose the same color because I think the other options, there was like a green and maybe like a dark purple. And I just wanted something that I felt like I would, I would use more frequently than not. But let's get into the meat of the issue here. My mother and I have two completely different profiles. I am very much more an adventurous makeup person. I want the bold colors. I want the new unique things. I, I, that is how my profile is set up. Hers is more neutrals, more, you know, it's, Neither of us want skincare. I review every product I receive every month. I say, please stop sending me skincare or send it in limited amounts. I like it sometimes, please don't do it all the time. There was no variation. I'm curious to see as you guys are watching this, if anybody else has checked their spoilers, has gotten their box, if you guys also got the exact same box because this has never happened before. It's come close, but it's never happened where we got everything the exact same. And I'm incredibly disappointed. I Enough that it may be really time to sit down and think about it. I enjoy doing this segment and that's part of why I've kept this subscription going for a while. There's really not a lot to say about this. I'm not trying to be negative. Everybody always comes at me and says I'm being negative. I'm really not trying to be negative. I'm trying to give you guys my honest opinion about the issues that we're facing with Ipsy. And this is, I mean, it's a lot of money that we're spending every month as a community supporting a company that seems to be, in my opinion, not really trying anymore. That's kind of the feel that I get is it's just, they're throwing together boxes and I would rather you just say, hey, there's no variations. Everybody's getting the same box this month. That would make more sense to me than you being like, oh, look, it's so it's so specified for what you want. And then sending me something that has no, no nowhere near what I've specified that I enjoy getting 
each month. So that is my soapbox. I'm done complaining. Wild month, uh, very easy choices. If I had to pick one whole box, it would be either one. And if I had to assemble the perfect box, it would be either one. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, as some of you really enjoy my rants. I hope you enjoy my rants. If you do enjoy my rants, consider subscribing because I would love to have you as one of our Dark Angel family members. We've grown so much and I'm so thankful to everybody who is subscribed and watches our videos and comments. It, you guys mean the world to me, I love you. We did celebrate our year anniversary on YouTube yesterday. So thank you guys for an amazing year. We've grown so fast. I did not expect to be almost at a thousand subscribers in under a year that does not happen very often and we're so thankful. So we love you guys. Thank you for supporting us. Um, um, yeah, definitely in the comments, let me know what your Ipsies look like, what you're feeling about Ipsy. Please be nice. Your, your, some of your mean comments hurt my feelings. Just, just saying I'm a sensitive as I come for Ipsy with a knife and a, and a blade, but it's fine. It's fine. Love you guys. Have a great day. Stay girly with a dark twist.